Wendy's chili can now be bought from your local grocery store. YouTube, Wendy's chili is now available in a can that you can buy from your grocery store. I got this from Walmart, 442 for a can. Gideon's here to check this out. I mean, it's a cool looking can, right? And we're gonna compare this to an actual cup of chili that you can get from the fast food restaurant to see how comparable these are. Does this taste exactly like Wendy's chili from actual Wendy's? I hope so. I am a fan of Wendy's chili. It's something I get regularly, especially on Tuesdays when, I don't know if they still do it. Uh, it's buy one chili, get one free. It's not gonna get you any chili by being all sweet right now. They don't completely compare in size because a large chili and this can are a little bit different difference in size, but they are com comparable. So a can of chili is 470 calories where a cup of the large cup from um, Wendy's is 340 calories. So more calories here, but you're getting more. And protein in this is 29 grams of protein where a cup of chili from Wendy's is 22 grams of protein. What is your deal today? You want some chili? So I'm gonna go heat this, gonna go heat this up. I got the chili from Wendy's. We're gonna compare the two and check out the taste on these. This is the full whole can over on this side and the whole large chili on this side. As you can see, you get a little more in the can, hence why there's more calories and more protein and everything in the can because it's a little more. You can tell just by looking at them, clearly there's a difference, um, especially in the beans, a lot of lighter beans. What are those, like probably the great northern beans and kidney beans in there? Where you, you have them over here, just a different look. Our canned chili versus the store chili. So obviously a difference in looks. I said 442 for your can, 391 for a large chili, at least where I'm at. But let's see, how do they taste? You can cook this in stove over the stovetop or it says in a microwave for a minute and a half. Let's go with the actual fast food restaurant chili first. Mm-hmm. It's that, the burger patty, because obviously with their chili there, they take burger patty scraps and throw it in there. That taste stands out in it, but will you get that taste over here? I can already see this is a little runnier. This is thicker. Immediately I can tell there's a difference in taste, but how much? So I'm just looking at the ingredients. Number one ingredient is beef, and the second is the tomato puree. And I think that's what's standing out is that tomato puree. Where over here, the main taste that stands out is the beef. Not exact. Clearly, like I said, the tomato puree stands out a little more, the beef more over here, but they're similar. They're very similar. Clearly, you can see differences in color, in texture, a little thinner over here, a little thicker on this side, but they're close. So not exact is what you're gonna get at a fast food restaurant, but as far as chili that you're going to get in a can, and I've tried a bunch of different chilies in, in can, you got Hormel, and you got some of the other ones. The Hormel, I, I, I don't like at all. And I think that's kind of like what uh, Burger King uses as their chili on stuff is like that Hormel chili. Not good. This, let me give it a couple more bites. I'm thinking this is probably the best canned chili out there. Yeah, as far as canned chili goes, this is good. Probably my favorite right now, as far as canned chilies go. Because a lot of canned chilies, they're not very good. Now it's not gonna beat this. You know, if I want Wendy's chili, I would probably just go to Wendy's and get it. But if you're not by one, maybe you're going camping somewhere and you wanna have some Wendy's chili, then getting it at a can is an option. If you just really love canned chili, I would say definitely give this one a try. I think it's the best. Leave it in the comments below. What do you think? Have you tried the two side by side? 
I know I've seen some people do reviews and they're like, it's exact. You can see it's not exact. It doesn't taste exact. It's close, but it's not exact. There is a difference between the two, but it's still really good. There you go. If you've enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Got a couple bowls of chili here to eat. I'll see you next time.